Ieda, not wanting to pay grandparents for babysitting. The big question we all saw coming. Who is going to babysit our new baby? And are we going to ask your parents to babysit? Or put him into daycare? This was the dreaded situation between my wife and I before we decided to have kids. We moved out into our own house shortly after we got married. Coming from an apartment we were both living in. We took everything into consideration. Community, area, school district, but most importantly, location. Not just distance to work or local shopping areas, but more importantly the distance to my wife's parents. As we knew later on, we would have them babysit as they were the closest grandparents. My parents lived 3-4 hours away, which was not really ideal for daily babysitting. My mill, 67, was soon to retire the same year we were expecting, so it all worked out anyways, or so we thought. This was the kicker. Her dad, 63, I know growing up, my wife always talked about how he liked to have financial responsibility and security. So he was very financial savvy with her. But he never really shared how much he makes or made, or how much he has. He never liked the idea of, free handouts, but he would help her in her financial needs. Like paying part of her college tuition, buying her a car as long as she takes care of insurance, gas, etc., which is a good mindset to which we agree with. He has spoken to me about his retirement funds, somewhere in the couple millions range, and how much he makes, somewhere in the $150,000 per year range, so I know he doesn't need money. My wife knows he doesn't need money but doesn't know how much he has. Whenever we talked to them about babysitting, they loved the idea. Since her mom would be retiring it would work out perfectly. And they'd get to see their grandchild every day or most days. Soon after we had our baby, maternity, paternity leave was up. I was going back to work, my wife had another month left, and her dad started talking about paying them for babysitting. Seeing as he wasn't fond of the free babysitting, he started to compare pricing of daycares in today's market and how much he would start charging us weekly. After his research, he surmised his amount to $400 per week for babysitting and $100 for weekends and we were shocked. We thought to ourselves, at that rate we might as well just take our baby to a daycare, and not have to drive back and forth. We weren't upset with having to pay them because we wanted to pay them, and we knew we weren't going to take advantage of the situation. We only started to get upset when he started demanding that we pay them for babysitting. And it's not like my wife and I were well off either, we make enough to live comfortably. So it became a huge discussion between us to the point where we almost decided that they weren't going to see their grandchild unless we decide to see them on the weekends. So am I the asshole for not wanting to pay my in-laws for babysitting? Edit. A lot of posts are saying, reeking of entitlement, but take my sentences out of context. We weren't expecting them to babysit for free. Mill was already set to retire soon. But retired, early, so she could be with her first grandchild and she loved the idea of being a, FT carer. Everything would be provided. Everything. And I guess to clarify the upset situation and using our child as blackmail. If you actually read the paragraph. I say we were wanting to pay them for the, FT care. But weren't expecting Phil to be a bit absurd with the cost to pay them. And the fact that he was demanding us to pay him when we were already going to pay them. I stated in that last sentence that they wouldn't see their grandchild unless we visit them on the weekends when we have time. It doesn't negate the fact that they can come visit anytime? Which is what everyone or mostly everyone is assuming. It wasn't said in a way that we would bar the grandparents from seeing the grandchild. YTA. You aren't entitled to free babysitting. Info. What did the mill say about it? Was she expecting to get paid that much, is she on board with that? People please, they are retiring from work. The baby is going to tie them down. People should be compensated for time taken away. The very reason it's calling work not leisure. It's not someone else's responsibility to raise their baby, even grandchildren. Info. Did you ever speak to the grandparents beforehand that it would be full time during the week? I think they were excited when they thought it would be once a week for date night and never considered that you wanted them to take on the whole of the childcare responsibilities. They're retired, they've done child rearing, they want to enjoy their free time and occasionally spoil their grandkids. You are the asshole. Am I the asshole for calling my sill stupid after she got upset about my wedding dresses? I, 24F, am Indian American. My sill, 25F, is white. We're both getting married within a few weeks of each other. My parents and in-laws are paying for most of my wedding. My brother and Sil decided to pay for their own wedding. 
My parents are going to pay for the reception because the groom's parents traditionally pay for that but they're paying for everything else themselves. My sill invited me to go dress shopping with her yesterday. She already had her dress for the white wedding and yesterday she bought lehengas, Indian dresses, for the reception and pre-wedding event, she's condensing all the events into one day. After she bought her clothes she asked to see mine. I did most of my wedding shopping in India. I have four lehengas, all of which are from a famous Indian bridal designer. The one that I'm wearing to my actual wedding was about $10,000 USD and all of them cost about $25,000 put together. Including jewelry and accessories, my wedding outfits cost around $50,000. I didn't offer any of this information, my sill asked me to tell her. After I told her she was pretty shocked and asked if I'm making my parents pay for all that. I'm not, they're paying for two of the dresses and the jewelry but my fiancé's parents are paying for my reception dress because they're hosting the reception and my mom's brother paid for my wedding dress because the bride's maternal uncle traditionally pays for the wedding dress. Sil said that just one of my dresses costs more than hers and my wedding is probably going to overshadow hers because mine is two weeks before and the guests are probably going to be talking about how her Sil had nicer dresses and a much more extravagant wedding. I said that she's being stupid and hardly anybody will even remember what I wore at my wedding. I'm generally pretty soft-spoken and I don't cuss so calling someone stupid is about as harsh as I get. She got upset and left my house looking like she was about to cry. Later my brother called and said that she's really sad and should lie or change the topic. I'm a really bad liar and I don't know how I could have changed the topic when she was there to see my dresses. Sil and I have been good friends since before she was with my brother and she's always been very emotional. She'll probably be over it by Monday at the latest but I feel bad about upsetting her. Am I the asshole? Edit. My fiancé and I chose our date first. Our birthdays are one day apart and we decided to get married on the day in between. My brother and Sil chose their date because it wasn't as expensive as the other dates they considered and the weather is good in their honeymoon destination around that time of year. Edit 2. I've realized that even if I'm not the asshole I'd rather not risk losing my friendship with her over something so minor. I'm going to call her in the morning and apologize. Edit 3. I called her and apologized. She wasn't as upset as I thought she might be and we're going to go get coffee together today. Thanks for all of your advice. These, are the dresses if anyone wants to see. Not the asshole, though I am curious about why she and your brother felt like they had to decline help from your parents. When there's that big a disparity between wedding budgets and family support it's usually because there's some underlying tension somewhere. Maybe they just preferred to keep it low-key and under their control and she had last-minute envy when she saw how Lux your setup is. If she usually calms down, reach out in a couple of days and ask her how she's doing. Edited to say now that I've seen your dresses she's absolutely having last-minute envy. Those are gorgeous smiling face. Edit. Esh. Your sill is being jealous based on the numbers you tell her. She should just mind her own wedding and enjoy attending yours and having hers instead of worrying about the silliest things. But, you shouldn't have called her stupid. That was definitely unnecessary and you should take accountability for that even if she does get over it by Monday. Be responsible for your actions, even if she said something that's ridiculous to you. Not the asshole, you only answered questions that were asked. Most people don't ask for prices because it's rude. You are getting married within your culture, she is not. If she wants a fabulous Indian wedding, she and your brother needed to do things differently. Esh. Not sure what calling her stupid was supposed to accomplish. You both sound petty.